Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about scenario number three of the practical JavaScript course. Okay. Now imagine this, a client comes up to you, maybe a social media influencer, maybe another developer, maybe a designer comes up to you and says, Hey, I would like to create a page that's going to have all of my social media accounts there. Now, we're basically going to be building this in this page that you're seeing right now. We're going to be building this 100% with JavaScript. Now, the reason why we're doing this 100% with JavaScript, instead of creating this into HTML, CSS, and then from there using JavaScript, you know, whenever we want to manipulate the DOM. Uh, and it's because we want to be able to package this up for a user that they could basically load up the script and automatically it shows up on their page. So instead of us coming in and telling this user, Hey, you got to come in, select all of this HTML, right? And then uh, copy it and then put it in your page. And then from there also to copy all of the CSS and also put it in the page. What if the user doesn't know how to do any of those things, right? We want to make it easier for them. So this is why we're going to generate everything with JavaScript by actually searching for a class or an ID, right? Either one, right? And then from there generating all of the HTML and CSS within that file. Okay. Or within that element. Uh, so like that, it could be easier for the user. Now for us, this is a great way for us to practice how to uh, create elements on a page because you're going to need this for pretty much everything. Okay. This is why this class is like so cool. And this course is so cool is because we're creating things that you're actually going to be doing all the time. Uh, it could either be by doing a vanilla JavaScript or using a front end framework like react angular or Vue, Right. But this is what you basically do when you come in and you use something like react and you say, okay, load up, uh, react. And then from there, uh, display the components inside of this div that has the ID of app. That's what you're doing. But this time around, we're going to be building it with vanilla JavaScript. Okay. So again, this is going to just give you guys like an inside look of like how a lot of these things work, all of these frameworks and this libraries, how they work by actually just doing it with vanilla JavaScript. There's going to be times that you don't need a framework for doing things like this and you could just do it yourself. And I'm going to show you guys two ways of doing it, right? There's going to be a way where we create each node and we basically attach each property and styles to each node. And then there's another way where you can pretty much take template literals and then from there display what you want to display within an element okay so it's going to be a very cool project hopefully you guys really enjoy it and just stick with me guys this is going to be a, a very good course at the end of this course uh of course every single section every single scenario has a quiz so definitely go and knock out the quizzes guys because this is how you're going to test yourself to see if you really understood what happened if you didn't get a good score on the quiz make sure you go over the videos again and then Go and try to take the quizzes again one more time. All right. So anyways, man, let's continue with this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Super excited to get started, guys. Bye.